Well, that's not going to work. Did you know that about 30 cents out of every dollar that you spend on your heating and cooling bills is actually lost through leaks in your ductwork? Well, today we're going to go to Pacific Gas and Electric's training center in Stockton, California, and learn the latest in high-tech equipment and how it can help you save money on your energy bills. This may look like an ordinary attic, but actually it's part of a mock home where PG&E technicians conduct energy efficiency tests. We'll be conducting two tests today. An air duct blaster to determine where leaks may be occurring throughout the ductwork in an air conditioning system. And a blower door test to determine where leaks may be occurring throughout the structure of a home. Energy consultant Gary Fagildi will show us how the test works and also show us how to make quick and easy repairs. For the duct blaster test, Gary tapes over all of the air conditioning vents. He also seals off the intake vent and attaches the conduit from the duct blaster fan. This is all done to pressurize the system. So you're actually pressurizing the ducts now, Gary? Yes, we're pressurizing the duct system to 25 uh, pascals, which is roughly equal to about a 10 mile hour per wind, uh, wind speed. So we don't have to worry about our ducts like splitting apart from this pressure of this fan. This is really a pretty minor amount of pressure that we're putting across. That's correct. The ducts are actually pressurized in a factory to much higher pressures than that. So this is about the same pressure difference as the system itself exerts on the, on the ducts when the system, when your furnace or air conditioner is operating, right? Uh, yes, as an average pressure, that's correct. Now after you get this, uh, the pressure equalized, then you can take some type of a, a, a reading here that will tell us how many cubic feet of air per minute is lost out of the uh, system? That's correct, and what we're going to do now is take that reading. So once we have the ducts pressurized to our standard test pressure, we're going to flip and record a fan pressure. And up here on our chart, our fan pressure of 106 with flow ring 1 tells us that our duct leakage is 404 cubic feet per minute. That's amazing because a normal system only puts out about 1,200, so that's over 30% of the system's capacity is just being lost through leaks in this that's correct, duct Steve. system. That's so correct. you can actually open this up and we can actually feel and see where some of these leaks are at, right? Yes, we can. In fact, one of the most important leaks that you have in a system is the closest to the air handler itself because it's under the highest pressure. And so, Which means you get most of the leaks there. That's correct. And we lose our most energy at the uh, highest pressure areas. And so, Now this is a smoke generator that actually puts yes. out smoke so we can see where the leaks are at? Yes, and if you watch, we're pressurizing the duct system and uh, the smoke and air will go towards the area of lower pressure. And so what you see is you see the smoke blowing at us, which means that we're losing tremendous amount of conditioned air here under normal operating conditions right at this point. Yeah, now normally our furnace may be in our basement or our garage or maybe even in our attic, which would mean that that would be lost to the outdoors forever. That's correct. So we're actually paying to heat and cool our, the outdoors. Correct. To fix this problem, simply seal off the leak with aluminum back tape. You do not want to use any type of mastic or permanent sealer here in case the air conditioner needs servicing later on. We turn the duct blaster back on and climb up into the attic. Using the smoke generator, Gary quickly finds several leaks in the ductwork. This is a luxury that we normally don't have. Many times we can just feel with the back of our hand where leakage occurs. But here's a good example here where you see the smoke is blowing wildly off of the connection there. And this is actually the way the uh, Y, metal Y, is formed right at this point we have a snap joint, and that snap joint, as you can see, is leaking. This problem is easily fixed as well. Seal the snap joint with mastic. Apply a liberal coat to all areas where the flexible ductwork comes in contact with the metal Y. One way you can tell if a duct is leaking is to simply look for any nearby insulation that's dark or discolored. If the duct is leaking, the insulation will act like an air filter and collect dirt. For the blower door test, Gary seals off an outside door and inserts a powerful fan that will be used to draw outside air into the home at a rate of 50 pascals, which is equivalent to a 20 mile per hour wind. 
So the, basically what this device does then, it's a fan that creates a negative pressure across the home and we can then quantify all, adding up all the leaks, cracks, gaps, and a typical house might be like having a window open all year round, right? That's correct, Steve, and in fact this can pressurize or depressurize the house. In this particular case we have it set up to pressurize, but it's the, the same principle. So how leaky is this house? This is a very leaky house. This is about three times as leaky as a typical new home built in California today. So how many cubic feet of air per minute is, is leaking out of this house under this pressure? At 50 pascals, we have approximately 3,220 CFM. With more than 3,000 cubic feet of air escaping every minute, finding a few cracks will not be a problem. The most obvious trouble spots will be around can light fixtures and outside doors. Most people are well aware of all the leaks that we have around windows and doors. Leaks like this are pretty easy to fix by adjusting the weather stripping. But you know where the real leaks are? Is around plumbing penetrations in attics and crawl spaces around vents. And those are the areas that you really want to pay close attention to. Well, we're going to go take a look at where some of those leaks are at. This is one of the holes that you were talking about, Steve. This is the uh, trap underneath the bathtub. And as you can see with the blower door running, uh, we're definitely running a lot of air through there. It's a big leak. Yes, and this is just the type of leak that feeds all the small holes in the house. And a typical house might have anywhere between two and three bathrooms, so that's a lot of air leakage. It's going to cost you a lot on your energy bill. Very much so. Well, I'll seal it up. To fix this problem, just seal up the hole with a couple of pieces of duckboard and caulk, but any type of non-flammable insulated material will do the job.